This is a short video for discoverdigitalphotography.com. In this video I'll be showing you how you can use an RGB curves adjustment to create a vintage haze effect on a photo. We'll be taking a photo like this and creating something like this from it. Um, RGB curves adjustments are quite good for doing this because they're available in a large number of different image editing programs and there's quite a lot of adjustability as to the amount of haze that you add and also the tones and colors that you can get from them. They're available in Photoshop CC, um, Photoshop Elements using a Smart Curves plugin which is free to download, uh, GIMP, Lightroom, just most image editing software has RGB curves so you can follow along with this tutorial whatever you're using probably. In Camera Raw you can find the curves panel over here, it's the second panel and out of the two tabs you want the point tab. For Lightroom you want the tone curve panel which is just below the basic panel in the develop module and down here you want to make sure this says point curve and you can change it by clicking here so if you've got the standard Lightroom curve like this just click on this little icon and that turns it into the point curve for Photoshop go down to the adjustment layers and then you can create a new curves adjustment and then up here you get in the um, properties for the adjustment layer you can adjust the curves for GIMP you want to go to colors and then curves and that brings up the curves dialog where you can adjust everything and for Photoshop elements you need to install the smart curves plugin because Photoshop Elements doesn't have curves by itself. But you can install this plugin free of charge, works very well. And once you've got that installed, you'll need to restart Photoshop after installing it. You can go to Filter, Easy Dot Filter, and then Smart Curve. And then that brings up our Curves dialog where we can uh, change what we need to. But for now I'm going to go back to Camera Raw to do this tutorial. So to start off with we're going to bring the black point up so that the blacks are no longer black but are grey and as you can see this creates a haze effect over the whole image. To do this all you need to do is just click on the black point at the bottom left corner of the curve and just bring it up and what used to be black is now grey you can see here zero is black that's what it used to be and now it's 55 that's a kind of shadow tone up here you've got this point is um, the white point which is 255 and that means pure white zero is pure black and then in the middle you've got 128 which is um, the mid-tone we don't need that at the moment so that's how you can create the haze effect as you can see it's very simple and next we'll add a bit of color toning to our image to make it a bit warmer so if we go over to the channel and select the blue channel and with the blue channel you can pull up the curve to add blue or pulling it down makes the image more yellow and you remove blue what we're going to do is take the white point of the blue channel and bring it down and as you can see that makes the image more yellow we're now going to apply a bit of split toning to the image which is where we tone the highlights differently to how we tone the shadows so click in the middle of the curve and that adds a point there and I'm going to leave that approximately in the middle and then clicking again further down and dragging up and we'll add a bit of blues to the shadows so now the highlights are more yellow and the shadows are more blue and we're now going to go across to the red channel 
and we'll just click in the middle and drag it up slightly and that just adds red to the midtones makes the whole image slightly warmer and I quite like the image like that but you might want to play around with the green channel as well and what you can do here is put an anchor point in the middle of the um, curve and then you can pull up that's adding greens to the highlights while magentas are being added to the shadows or we can do it the other way around and uh, reduce the greens in the highlights so that's adding magentas to the highlights and increasing the greens in the shadows or we might want to leave it like that and just pull that down a bit I get rid of that Now what I'm doing here is, we're up here in the highlight area, you can see the curve is quite close to what it was originally. So basically we're not making much adjustment there at all. And further down in the shadow area, you can see we've got a larger adjustment from what it was originally. So that's adding more magentas to the shadow area. And I think that's probably about it. So you, obviously you can play around quite a bit with the curves changing the color tone and that sort of thing but the main thing for creating the haze effect is simply on the RGB channel bringing up the black points so that blacks are no longer blacks but are greys. I hope this video has been useful.